Welcome to this video brought to you by Library Research Support. In this series on the four golden rules of data management, we'll be looking at high profile examples of what can happen when data management goes wrong. My name is Isabel, and in this video, we'll be taking a look at the need to migrate formats for preservation. To celebrate the 900th anniversary of the Doomsday Book, in 1984, the BBC launched the groundbreaking Doomsday Project. In this early example of citizen science, the public were asked to submit details about their local area to help compile a digital snapshot of the country. Over a million people, mainly school children, took part, submitting 150,000 pages and 25,000 photos by post. All the data, pictures, maps, video, surveys, statistics, essays and personal testimonies were digitally etched onto two laser discs. In 1986, the archive was launched with great fanfare and was given the Royal Seal of Approval by Queen Elizabeth. However, the technology required to run these discs was prohibitively expensive, meaning that the schools and libraries in the communities which contributed to the project were unable to access the data. The technology then quickly became obsolete and the data which the public worked so hard to collect was lost. But it's not all doom and gloom. 25 years later, in 2012, after years of work by digital archaeologists to laboriously excavate the data from disintegrated disks, the BBC launched Doomsday Reloaded, a website and interactive exhibition hosted by our neighbours at Fletchley Park. The collection can now be accessed on the National Archives web archive. So, golden rule number three is migrate formats for preservation. For more guidance on best formats for digital preservation, have a look at the UK Data Archive website, where there is a handy guide to the best formats for a range of different data types. Thanks for watching! Why not check out the other videos in this series to explore the rest of our golden rules of data management?